I have an idea for PVE, and I want to call it Magnum Telarking. Currently, we use a flat array for PVE, for photovoltaics, right? And we're collecting the sun based on the sun coming down, right? So the sun's in the sky, and the rays come down, the photons come down, and they hit your flat form, and then gradually the energy is absorbed into it. Right, So these flat panels are directed to be facing the sun, right? And we put them all over the place. And that's great. But as we've learned with many different types of science, that linear transformation limits the amount of surfaces that can be used in order to enhance the ability for taking something into itself. For example, imagine if you were able to create a body like this here, right? That enabled for, instead of having a flat panel PVE device, you have a ribbon. So you make a flat ribbon of the PVE. Down here is your... Uh, negative output up here is your positive output and then you coil the ribbon all the way down inside of this device here right and then now it's upright so instead of being a flat panel it's getting sunlight photonics on all sides right my pen is going dead for this right so sun's coming down from all sides on something that's shaped like a ribbon and so as that ribbon sits in there, it'll slowly move as it warms up. Because we know that by the dynamics of this device here, when you have one black and one white square on a spinner and photons hit the black side, this will turn this way. So will this. So you have one side that's darker than the other, sitting in a chamber that's designed to magnify the photovoltaic action of the photonic wavelengths that are coming down to it. And the reason why I come up with this is because I see photons as something no different than water. Okay, now you may say to yourself, well, photons are just single units, yet I truly believe that they're more like a fluid and the less of a atmosphere you have, the less of a reaction the photons have. And that's the reason why photons travel so far between the distances, because they're not actually traveling between distances. They're actually a liquid, no different than the waves of an ocean hitting the shore. And our earth is the shore and the sun is the ocean creating the waves coming to us. And when they hit our atmosphere, then the array of the spectrum of photons comes to the Earth and creates the colors on Earth due to the reflection and refraction of that photonic element. Thus, that being said, creating more primary space on a photovoltaic reactor, such as a ribbon-like form, will enable us to not only create something that absorbs more energy, but will create a better flow of energy because it will conduit itself out downwards and upwards. And so instead of the cells dying out, which they do over a period of time, we can just flip the cell over and then equally share it. By creating a chamber like this that comes down like this and is aluminized on the inside, it will increase the amount of sun that's reflected at the ribbons coming down. So say in the center of this here, Say it's the size of four by four foot square, and in the center of it, there's a hundred ribbons, okay? And they're all lined up. And as this thing goes, it turns, right? And as it turns, the sunlight comes down, and the filtration of the sun is reflected and refracted on the inside of it in order to give maximum occurrence to the ribbons of the photons that are coming down to give a maximum amount of energy to these ribbons. So all in all, what we would be working with here is something that takes the ribbon and then causes it to perpetually spin 
due to the light frequency and the reverberation of the photons against the dark side itself, thus causing it to absorb more energy all the way through. And as it spins, the other layers on the inside are exposed to the other parts of the sun. So sunlight's not wasted. So where this one goes through here, and these rays of light go through here, they hit this one here. And as these rays go through here, they hit this one here. And because this is mirrored aluminum, you don't have to worry about it because it's not coming at it. It's coming to it. Get it? You put it on a post like this right here with a screw drive system, right? So that way, if you have to take it up 100 feet for bad weather or whatnot and protect it, you can just drive up the screw. And then you take it up into the air. And then as it's going around, it's absorbing energy. And then the screw drives back down. And then the energy is stored succinctly in some type of carbon battery base. Anyways, that's my idea to change photovoltaics so that way we can enhance the energy process in order to have more energy for the processes on Earth and be more green and possibly save this poor planet. Have a great day.